welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel welcome if you've been here before welcome back guys i'm in barbados and i just want to give you guys a quick tour of the island and um, i'm this is something i'm familiar with that i want to show you let's see right here this is Buckley's Barbados Agriculture Management Company Buckley's Sugar Factory guys this that sugar factory means something to me because that is where this is where years ago that the sugar cane was brought to they used to have tourists here and this is where um, they grind the sugar the cane that made it into sugar and this is a factory it's closed down now but I just thought I'll come in here and do like a little tour hello hi so this is the old factory here I don't know what happened of course you see it's it's been closed down for a while and nothing has been happening here so it's kind of like in ruins now I'm looking to see if I see anybody in here hi I'm just showing my friends a little bit of the old sugar cane factory yeah, yeah. Okay. can I go in there? okay he said yeah i can go in there there's a big truck so i don't know how i'm gonna pass there though so what this so nothing happens here anymore what they're trying to move ahead over you what they're trying to come over here okay oh okay so i remember years ago coming here they used to have tourists here right tourists here years ago so this is where so what happened at they closed this down do you know you don't know? Oh, so it's just... So you... Are you the guard here? Are you just work here? Never, never. You work here? Okay. So guys, this is it. There's really nothing here. Just a lot of old stuff. I guess to move out the equipment that they would need. But this used to be an old sugar factory that was called Buckley's. Okay? When I was a little girl, I remember my grandma and them used to cut... Can't, used to... And my parish is my grandmother's husband cut cane and this is where they would bring the cane that, that's where they would bring the cane to be grind into sugar but now it's just a shell it's just a shell yeah so what was this section here the heist there say that again oh. Oh, so that's where we would pick up the cane and offload it. Oh, okay. So that heist there guy, he said is where they would pick up all the sugar cane and bring it and load the cane in here. And then from here, I guess they'll take it over on the other side to be grind. Okay. So all these old trucks, these trucks and stuff, they're still usable? All these trucks? Oh, the brownie plantation? Okay. What is that green? Harvested. Can you harvest it? Oh, harvested. Yeah. Harvest okay. All right. Well, thank you. All right. All right, guys. I was just getting some information from him because he works here. But he's saying that big heist that I show you is what he used to heist up the can with because, of course, with a lot of can, bring it over there. And then it would come over here to the factory. And you see those big mills right there with a rain it. And then they had a section where they would boil it at a certain temperature, boil, boil, boil. And then it would be made into sugar. Oh, what's, I don't know what's going on. This little too. So I just want to show you that. So let's go. Let me see what else I got to show you. I'm excited. Guys, you see I did my hair today because I know when it come with the wind, it just makes a mess of my hair. So look, I don't know. Charles, hold this camera so I can show them the back of my head. Shut up. <laughs> Guys, I had a, the wind just makes a mess of my hair. So if you come in here, bring a lot of hair ties with you. So you can pin out your hair because it was guess windy. The wind just blew. All right. Stay tuned. We're on to our next place. I have a very famous person here that I want you guys to talk to. 
Yesterday, I, t I went to the to Buckley's Sugar Cane Factory. It was, as you saw, I showed you the picture of how um, it's just a shell right now because the factory has closed down for years and there's nothing going on there. But I have some person who has some information and I just want to talk to him about it. So I'm going to introduce you to this gentleman right here. What's your name, sir? Blair. Everybody know me as Blair. Okay. Everybody know him as Blair. Blair is really a sweet friend of the family. He's been a friend of the family for years, some person that we can always count on. Whenever I'm coming to Barbados, Blair provides me with sugar cane. He gives me like a whole bunch of sugar cane, you know, that I can sell. This year it came in a little bit late, so what he did is he juiced the cane for me. So he brought here two big containers of juice. The only thing Blair is that the juice is so sweet I have to add water to All it. Right. It is sweet. That what the name of it? Sugar, sugar cane. cane juice. It is so sweet. But the thing about it is I think I can I prefer to just suck the cane, yes, suck the cane. instead of drinking it just I think it's better for me to do that. Right, and I know they don't feel can't, it's sweet when I'm coming. Yes, and the crop season's already finished. The crop season finished. I'd be to come in early. Okay, uh huh. Yeah, would I get some shit, nice soft sugar cane out when you put them in your mouth to melt like, like the last one we give you? Oh, the last one you gave me was so good. Right, man. You just gotta look at them and the juices be trickling out. Yes, but we came in late. Crop you season in, was finished. You come in late. Right, but now I went to, to Buckley's factory yesterday and what what is amazing about Buckley factory, you know, I was looking, that factory has been there for in the 17th century. So that has been there for generations, years. I remember as a little girl because, you know, my grandmother worked in the crop season and my, her husband, which we call my pa, the men would cut the king. and the women would load the cane onto the truck and the truck would then take the cane over to the factory and you saw it when I went there yesterday the, the, that big heist right Blair the Take yeah. the, that off, um, the, the, off the can, off the truck. Uh huh. Had the hood, had two. Uh -huh. One, Judah, you know, neglect. Mm -hmm. Rock the Russell to take it down. But this that was one of the best sugar factories in Barbados. It was? The best sugar factory. Where you coming up in the bus for the night, coming all through Bell Gully, mm -hmm. coming up. You can stand and smell the sugar, the molasses, the syrup. I don't talk about when the sugar truck pass the bus, all oh, you know, so hear everybody bus say, Oh Lord, oh Lord. You say alone got the bus in a roar, everybody bus, oh Lord. Uh -huh. The scent, you should be so sweet yeah. coming up. Well, down the road, you can smell this thing. Uh -huh. No? The aroma. You don't smell nothing because poor good old Buckley gone. Buckley gone. It was the best of the factory because it was used use it warm water. It had it warm water well in the bar. Mm -hmm. Pump water. It more central. All the candles are St. Philip, St. John, Christchurch, everybody coming in. Right. No, you only got one port, but everybody got good. St. James. Okay. Because I remember you would see the lorries. We call them lorries back then, right? Yeah. Which is big trucks loaded with the cane. And going down. Right, going down. Because the women would load the, the cane onto the. The men used to cut the cane, right? The men used right? to cut. Women would clean and load up. Because uh -huh. everything was hand load. Yeah. They would load and they would go buckling, you know, take mm -hmm. off and grind, make sugar. 
Right. And the prettiest sugar you will ever see. I know if you can remember. Mm -hmm. Come from that little factory there. We used to call it. Back in my day when it was working out, we start calling it the museum. The museum? Because it's old. Uh -huh. We call it the museum. Yeah. The prettiest sugar you ever <laughs> see. I said, hey, look, a man tell me them to call it beige and gold. Beige and gold, because it remember it had like a red sugar, a reddish color. And it said, it looked like gold crystal. Oh, yes, I remember that. And you used to call it, tell me they used to call it beige and gold. Beige and gold. And the cleanest sugar you will ever see. Mm -hmm. That little fat there. Right. After it break down, enjoy the night, by morning, you could bet it grain and can again. Yeah. All the workers can kind of get a fix it mm -hmm. and it gonna keep moving. Yeah. Back then, it, sugar was a big thing. A lot of people got rich off of that sugar. Today, people are not growing as much sugar, so it's more a tourist industry now, right? Everybody look at the tourists. Yeah. But the elderly tourists, of course, you're not getting as much tourists now because of what happened with um, the COVID and now the, the, um, the traveling is so expensive, so you yeah. wouldn't have as much coming. as you used to. But back then, so I guess for, for Buckley Factory, it probably, it probably wasn't as working as much as it used to. So now there's another factory that has been opened, right? That's where you work? Oh, uh, I don't work there. Right? You can't just go to Portville, but I don't work in Portville. So where's Portville? Portville is St. James. So is that the only factory That's I have the now? the only factory in Barbados that work and called a close down. Andrews, mm -hmm. nobody know the reason why. Mm -hmm. Andrews was closed down. Just leave out there in the rain and the parts just rust away. There was two, Portville and Andrews. Mm -hmm. After the blood bug, everything just, Andrews just rust away out there now. So it's just Portville now that it's working. Mm -hmm. But, it went away, give me bug leave. So how many factories all together that was in the island, do you know, oh, all together? They say every plantation is going to came back in there. Oh, every plantation, okay. Yeah. You would know because once you drive around and you look at the plantations, you will see a chimney. Uh huh. Like, where you live, I can stand and see Buckley. Mm -hmm. I can see Constant. Mm -hmm. Constant got a chimney. Buckley still got a chimney. The bell, I think the bell, the lower state, Carrington, Four Square, Sirs. So they all had hammers. Have you driven? You see the chimney, the old wall chimney still up. That was a and all of them closed. Brighton, got Brighton still got chimney. Mm -hmm. All these. And after then, you saw make sure gonna you saw just squeeze the can. I understand you squeeze the can, and the juice will get transferred to the factory now. And that really mm -hmm. making the sugar when you saw coming. Okay. So everybody you saw. Contribute to the one grain and the one can. Mm -hmm. Not well, no. You used to have tours. Yeah, you used to get tours. Yes, I remember going on a tour, so they will take you through and show you like how when the can come in, how the how they squeeze the juice out of the can, right? Yeah, squeeze. Right, and yeah, from then it used to be transferred to these big pots. Yeah, like boiling. And they boil it. Right, different stage at a certain temperature, like over 800 degrees or something like that. They will boil it until it become the sugar, until it, is that how it was done? Crystallized. And yeah. My syrup, molasses, right. and put in the few spin, sugar one with the molasses float in that side. Yeah, I remember and, that. And, and in there, if you want lost bit, you can just watch it for 15 minutes. Yeah, mug of perspiration can come off here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it just be so hot. But now, um, yeah, I remember that. And I remember my grandmother used to bring home sometimes that molasses. Yeah. And sometimes we used to make drink with it too. Sir. Sir. With you the just molasses, put it, sir. No, just put it in water, stir it up, and you just squeeze it up. It's a piece of light. You used to call it swank. Swank. I remember. Swank. <laughs> I remember people are swank. still doing it at the year, because some people just ask me, 
if we can get syrup for them. Hey, tell us we got uh, as a friend as right there. He will bring himself with me and we get him. Uh -huh. Hey, my man, well, you know we want to see if we don't even make some swag with him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they, yeah, because I know the young people of the day know now about the swag. Yeah, know the swag. Oh, that's know like we all the people, right? <laughs> they know now about the swag. Yeah. And another thing that you need to get from Butler that I like liquor, hot liquor. Hot liquor. That's the cane juice when it don't get squeezed past you and don't get boiled. Mm -hmm. Before it go up and start to make sugar. You go catch it, mm -hmm. you got it cool. Right. Put it in the fridge. And when that day get cold and you start to drink, oh Lord. It be good? Oh Lord, Father, yes. That thing that stays good. Okay. Once it beastly cold. Yeah. It tastes good. Yeah. But that was it. So we took a tour up to to Buckley's and um I was just surprised, I guess it just I don't know, the roof and everything, they you know, it's leaking, in, it's like... Leaking. Yeah. And that was one of the best sugar fart reasons about me. I just love it. What do you like about it? 11 o'clock, mm -hmm. 12 o'clock, 7 o'clock. You hear the horn. Oh, yes. Brrrr. Yes. You yes. know what time of day it is. Yep, yep. That's how we took the time, guys, because we yeah, we know that my grandmother was out working, but she knew what time is time for her to leave in the morning, seven o'clock, because the the horn no, is gonna no. go. Then eleven o'clock, we know the horn. So if you're out playing, you know, grand is on her way home because it's time for lunch. I hopes. So you whatever you out doing, you better get home because you know she can be home in a little bit, right? They come home, they have lunch, and then they go back out to. Right, they got right. And then, you know, you got to hurry up now because you got to go. And then at 4 o'clock, I think it is, right? 7 o'clock, again, it can blow. Again, right, 4 o'clock, 7 o'clock. It can blow up because every time it blow up, you're 11 to 12 is lunch. Mm -hmm. Then at 7 o'clock, now when it blow, the shift changing. Yeah. The shift changing now to come on. Yeah. So then at 7 in the morning, no, it can blow again. Uh -huh. Shift changing again. Oh, that's what I was, the yeah, shift changing. Shift changing. So as when it blow at 11 now, lunch, 12, lunch over, you're about to work at yeah. 7 o'clock again. Yeah. And it's a loud, because it's a light to hear it, man. Yeah, because now it's time for you to go or whatever, yeah. right? Oh. I used to know that my grandmother coming home soon. Let me get in the house. <laughs> yeah, but you know, when you also hear that horn from the crop, yeah. head home. Head home. <laughs> Guys, these are memories that we're sharing because if you are from Barbados, if you're not familiar, you may not know what we're talking about, but there's a lot of history in that factory because as I said, it was there from the 17th century. And that's what grind and made the sugar, the sugar that was sent throughout the world, right? It was yeah. shipped throughout. Yeah. So a lot of people depended on that, but you know, times have changed now. And, um, and so the factory is right now. Everybody had a little piece of grow, mm -hmm. had cane plant. Yeah. And you could take your can and send it up there too and make money from it. Yeah, you know, once you plant and you're plant. able to harvest, because I remember my grandma used to um, grow sugar cane too in the bottom, yeah. we call it the bottom. Yeah. And then. Like this piece of land here, no. Right. Let's see how we're going to plant it with cane. You could have. Right. Where would have planted it? If you, if you own that land, you could have planted it with cane, send it to the factory, have it grind, and make some money. So that's how people made money back then. They were able to make a lot of money, but over you know, this year was the plantation, too. Yeah, over here was, was yeah, yeah. We, uh huh. Ross Ross plantation, yeah, it was, yeah. and Walker's plantation, I had. Yeah, yeah Walker's. Still, uh, in India, Walker's dairy, and then Walker's plantation yes, at yeah. the time. Mm -hmm. They got a lot of plantations that close now. Yeah, they are closed like, now. The one that down below, just a part where they live now, mm -hmm. Hanson, that was Hanson plantation. The hot water plantation, that's up by the globe driving. Mm -hmm. All that was keen. They got a lot that closed down that just, they let around way and bush like stable grove. Mm -hmm. And around way and bush mm -hmm. to put up the concrete jungles. Oh, because I remember, I see, I think once men got in here, there's a lot of um, people that went back to farming. A lot, a lot going on now, you know? Mm -hmm. Because I really sense Remy Martin took over Mount Gay. Then like they put sinks in a lot of people's head. Mm -hmm. Cause they planted more sugar cane. Mm -hmm. Cause only place in Barbados right now the sugar crop but we have finished. Mm -hmm. Only place in Barbados right now reaping sugar cane is Mount Gay plantation. Oh, okay. Cause they build their own little factory down there you now. Mm -hmm. They make grind them own cane. 
Uh, met that one molasses mm -hmm. to get that one rum. Okay. So uh, them is the only body that doing can right now. But that's smart. And they mm -hmm. understand the boys on other plantations and barrier, but I ain't calling the name. Okay, I'm mean, not calling names. Uh huh. The boys on other plantations that was out of can for mm -hmm. years. I put it in the back in can. Mm -hmm. I know one. I know one. Mm -hmm. James, the other day, you went on there and they see some little small people that got like little spot plots like these. Caught in a plant of a can. Mm -hmm. I used to be it. Small people gone, but plant a can. And up in a big residential area, they said the people got a can plant. And they said, oh, I see everybody going about planting now. Yeah. All right. Got a little realize something in the can now, you, you can make money. And when you plant can, this how it works. All right, I feel like you can last about three, four years, and you mm -hmm. plow that ground. You can plant a field up with others, right? Because we're gonna have now the trash and the old can mm -hmm. and come like a compost, mm -hmm. and then mow it there, and the, the soil ain't gonna be as tight. So once you plant potato, yam, anything in there, you gonna get a good crop, right? When you reap, you plow back out again, plant back can, can again. again. And you can keep doing it so you can. I remember that because when I lived in South Street, there was a big can growing next to us. So whenever they cut right the can, above the, yeah, above the house, whenever they cut the can, you, they yam. would always plant yam. Yam or potatoes. Or potatoes. And that would stay there for like a year or so. And then the following year. Plant back can again. I, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. Where you live, I live now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all the group do there now is that the ground just standing around there. Right. The trees growing. Yeah. I remember working at that plantation. Now the Mardi and Marshall. Marshall saying there, tag go off. You get the ground for it, more like you saying down there to pick a rock. You get down, you pick a rock. And next thing you know, you see the women come down with the hoes. Cut yam hoes. And you see drop my yam plant. Yeah. The plant yam in our ground. It's one of the biggest yam they see in oh, the Lord. He did no part of planting food. That's what my grandmother did for years. Plant and I yam. Think how those people manage to do that in this hot sun, guys, is, be, is you know, it's a trick -trick. beyond me because I know those people wear a lot of clothes and I think that was to keep some of the sun off their head and their body and so on. It's because it's so hot. It's a it, trick to it because they're, yeah. Then dig all, all, all you gotta do. Uh -huh. Early in the morning, sun don't be hot. So you start early. You start early. So the hotter the sun get, your body climatizes into the heat. Mm -hmm. The hotter it get, you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Wow. I working it for years. Spraying can, then you can with a little try to spray. So you just start sun like five thirty in the morning. Mm -hmm. And when the sun get hot. And mm -hmm. so then the boss is going, ah, Blair, you all right? Yeah. You sure? You got to tell you all you got to do is bring a coke out here, put in, try to see from when they come back up and they say, I will drink it. <laughs> I got ice water and he bring a coke, I got a sand to eat. Uh -huh. And I just pull up and I back down she can. So you don't know how hot the sun is because you don't there from early uh -huh. and your body climatizes into the heat. Oh, okay. But have you ever stopped and say you're going to take a lunch hour uh -huh. and you got to go back? You can't do it? You can't get it though. Too hot. It's too hot. So you're hanging about. So I, what we would do, I would work from 5.30 in the morning. And when it's done empty, mm -hmm. I can't try to in the part of my name. See you tomorrow. You're done. Home. You're going back. No, I don't work for the day. I go home. I go home. Mm -hmm. It's a trick to rip my head. going to the work wrong. It. Yeah. Yeah. You start early. You've been doing that now for years. For years. I had done that from when I was about 19, Oh, you started early. Yeah. I used to go help my grandfather cut candle. Mm -hmm. I can't tell my mother no right cause. She's figuring out that she could still can't slap me around my head. <laughs> that's, that's mommy over there. <laughs> she can't, can't slap me around my head. She thinks she can slap you? <laughs> yeah. A big old man like me. Yeah. If you I, have to, you will, right, mom? You live by Eastside, but I'm a Sandy. <laughs> mm. She said you live by Eastside, but she used to hit you. They think about mom. Their every, mom is every, young, but they hit you. I used to help my grandfather cut can. Mm -hmm. You know if I help my grandfather cut can? When he get paid up on a Friday or Thursday, he give me a little $20. Uh -huh. When he give that $20, 
You got about five thousand dollars. <laughs> You can you can buy down there. you can buy down Jerusalem. Uh huh. Got twenty dollars back in the idea. Let me tell. Yeah. It was a lot of money. Good afternoon. Hi. Good afternoon. That twenty dollar uh -huh. got spread from Saint Philip mm -hmm. to Saint Lucia. Mm -hmm. Remember me. Let me tell you, that twenty dollar can go far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is And this is going how he got a little kid when he when he come home. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you went to school or private school and you gotta pay the school fees, you know, you ain't pay mm -hmm. by the time you get sent home. Oh, my government, I tell my mother, my father, that guy wanna go, my grandfather I want that little piece of money. You wanna hold some money. You wanna hold some money, you wanna help my grandfather do your thing. Yeah. Help my grandfather hold your chicken. So now he come, he come home for lunch, cause he's standing here with the fiery blow. I said, well, he can look and see country gully. Mm -hmm. I see he come home and when he came back cross, and he cross the road and came back down to gully, I got my college too and they, Cross the road down to the gully, and when he go, he start kind of tell you, right, Papa, I go wrong. You hold two and give me two. <laughs> he said, Yeah, we don't want from school. I tell him, Ma, 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 I come to help you, man. I don't want more. He tell me you come home. But I tell him, Me, where you come home, because you can tell you. Uh -huh. I didn't help him here a whole day. Then he ready to come home in the evening. The next morning, and she gone on to work. My father gone, like, left home in school, because like, I ain't going to school, but I know he can't go to school, so he can't hold a chair and back on my grandfather again. You hear what he did? <laughs> well, I ain't got what I'm going to tell you. A confession is good for me, so I don't know. I can't wait grandfather yeah. cause I can't get some money. Uh -huh. That would be fun for me. Yeah. I used to say, buy getting money for you, but I never know what it was for. Oh, okay. He was getting money from his grandfather. Yeah, yeah. boy. That is a good yeah, idea. That, those were the days, my in the crop season, it was really something. As I remember, we call him my parish, it's my grandmother's husband. He would every evening he come home, he would be sitting at the back door. He sit on the back door and got his cutlass right and he just sharpen it. Sharpen, he sharpen mm -hmm. here. Oh. They had a fold. Yeah, they had a fold and he would sit fold, there. Yeah. And but, sharpen his collar. The and then, the yeah, early in the morning, get up early in the morning. Grand get up, she would cook early in the morning. And um, he gone along up there with a with a full car. They can't come back home for lunch because it's too far. Can't yeah. Two, three, three layers. A yes. big enamel boy with a cover. A big, <laughs> <laughs> a big enamel boy with a But that food was just down hot whole day. Because it was like these hot suns. It's still it hot. It was hot whole day. Enamel boy with a cover. Yeah, and count on the food. That and one thing as I see that enamel boy right now is paying his plans on there by the corner in Nelson Street. It moved yeah. from there now and gone right below. Ready for food, John? He wrapped there. He going there, you sit in them boys, he now my boy with a cover. With a cover, uh-huh. That needs to be the boy. But you gotta go upstairs the other day, they gonna upstairs and they take care of it like you had make it. So I'm upstairs. And somebody used to, there used to be, people would come up with baskets full of mobby. Uh-huh. Oh, Lord, Joyce. Right? That had a woman used to sell up Buckley near Joycey. Uh-huh. Whenever you drink Joycey mobby, look for a tree and do this. Good sleep. <laughs> Too much sugar? Joyce and Marvin used to put you to sleep. Yeah. I don't know when it used to put you to sleep, but that's it for you. Yeah. Joyce and she Marvin. That's she got my touch. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, guys. Yeah. That's where right. people used yeah. to got the basket on top of the head, could have walked with it, the cloth, and then the basket, and then used to fall. And then they had like a little nozzle in the front, yeah, right? Nice, just right. and then they had to take the basket down to just put the yeah, cup yeah, right there, it. and just from the top of the head, just psh, the marble in your cup, and hand it to you, right? No, if I don't drink, Joyce, see marble look for some red boy. Cause you okay now? How much? Now tell me, now the cup says sorry, you should go talk. Your talk, yes, yes, yes. And you say use the money. I thought I don't know who the man who said get that man. I put on a handle. Yes. Cause the man in the fire room used to drink the liquor like that there. I had a man here, Godfrey. Mm -hmm. Godfrey used to want to catch it. <laughs> hard, hard, hard. That the, could be swat. Yeah, there's a man in, in Savage Street that used to make the cups. So when we get like a Milo tin, we'll take it to him and he used to make, make, make cup. Right. And, and, and see my grandma uh, cooling her tea and stuff. Yeah, and it's about two ways. Two, uh, yeah. Down. Uh, uh, no. Especially if she got to leave early for work in the morning. I know the it's on Yeah. Cool Trying to cool the tea because they got to... I'm blowing. Yeah. <laughs> they got to go to work. Especially my grandmother was always late for everything. So, 
No way, man. But those were this. But, but Blair, thank you so much. Nice. I shall see you the next time Lorraine come back to the village. Eh? <laughs> she want to know about the factory. So I shall go and get more information I shall give her. I have to go now because the donkey is outside and the sun is very hot. I have to go and take him home and give him some water. <laughs> bye bye, my friends. It was nice seeing you all. Bye. I love it. <laughs> guys, <laughs> guys, this I is Blair. He is so funny. He's a comedy. Guys, I want to say thank you to Blair for all that information. Blair has a wealth of information and for sharing it with us. I want to say thank you to Blair. I also want to give a brief summary of my opinion of what I think I would like to be able to share with you today. I am going to be reading, I have some, some notes here, I'm going to be reading what I wrote because I just wanted to write it down so I can get my thoughts clear so that I am not rambling all over the place because I probably will. So I wrote everything down, so let me just read what I wrote to you. Buckley Factory has been around since the 17th century. It's the smallest and oldest sugar factory in Barbados, and as Blair said, it's nicknamed the museum. I believe Barbados should give everyone a first-hand look into its tradition and historic heritage by having someone like Blair, and with his wealth and knowledge, give guided tours and this is why I personally think should go on up there because there's so much history in there i think someone that has the information that he does have should be able to give tours should be able to give tours bookley has his own story providing a unique perspective on the history and making of sugar it should be renovated and brought back to its early glory to provide educational tours for all, especially the young. That's what I believe. People can learn about the rich history of making sugar. And as the Calypso Calypsonian here in Barbados, red plastic bag said, sugar is part of our culture that made us free. So with that said, guys, I want to say thank you all for being here for joining me today i hope that you all have learned something because i learned a lot today from blair he also brought back a lot of memories and i want to say thank you to him and i want to thank you all for joining me don't forget to share like subscribe and leave me a comment i love to read your comments until next time bye bye